So my story of coming here is kind of fun and interesting. I, when the Lord began to speak to me about pursuing my vocational call with a more academic, professional education, I began to look at a lot of different schools and programs. And one school was New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. And they were having an interview weekend down there. And so I, I flew down to New Orleans to check the campus out, check the school out. and. Dr. Ben Witherington just happened to be speaking that weekend. Carolyn Moore, my boss, told me, you know, when you meet Dr. Ben, tell him that Carolyn Moore says hello. So he did a great job speaking. I went up and said, hey, my name's Christopher Goss. I'm Carolyn Moore's youth pastor, and she just wanted me to tell you hello. And when I did, he looked back at me and said, yes, and Carolyn wanted me to tell you Asbury is calling. I kind of laughed and thought, well played, Carolyn, well played. But later that weekend in chapel, the president of the seminary said, we're just going to take some time and just pray and let you listen for where God wants you to be. So I just took that moment and said, Lord, where are you calling me? Where are you calling me in terms of school? And the Lord said, I'm calling you to Asbury. So I had flown to New Orleans, Louisiana, to be told that I was called to Wilmore, Kentucky. However God wants to do it, it's just fine with me. The real belief in terms of why I think God called me here was I've always had just a passion for scriptural holiness, both on a personal and social level. And so to be brought to a place where you can really be given the, the original vision that God gave John Wesley and, and learn how to live that out in a 21st century context is just a real gift. It's a beautiful gift. The benefits of taking a, a hybrid format is, as my buddy Robert Williams says, you get to do it while you learn it. So uh, I, I'm in a particularly blessed situation in the sense that, as I stated before, I work for Carolyn Moore as the Director of Worship Arts, Youth, and Young Adults Ministries at Mosaic United Methodist Church. So I, I kind of have a, a, a threefold education. I'm, I'm being mentored in ministry while I study the, the theological and, and academic rigor of ministry, while I also practice ministry. So the, the, the ability to be able to be mentored, to study, and to kind of have the experiential learning is a, just a real blessing that I think hybrids offer. And the other thing is to be able to actually have time to be in uh, a classroom and talk to real professors, uh, real students that are, that are with you, and to be able to have that dialogue is a, just a tremendous blessing. So coming to Asbury for the intensives, uh, it's tough and it's sweet. Um, it's tough in the sense that uh, when I leave Augusta, Georgia, I'm leaving behind a 50 to 60 hour workload. I'm leaving behind three ministries that I lead. Uh, and those ministries don't just go away. You know, I'm constantly getting texts and phone calls and emails and the work of the church goes on and you kind of have to be in two worlds at the same time. So that's tough. But, but the sweet part is that there are a few days where you get poured into, where instead of pouring out, you're being poured in and um, talking to godly professors, um, discussing stuff that genuinely matters to my heart. And uh, I feel like the Holy Spirit uses it as a means of grace to, to revitalize me so that when I go home, uh, there's more to give, more ways to love and more ways to lead. I came to Asbury Seminary because I felt like it was a place that would be very formative for me. Um, I'd actually begun my theological studies at a different seminary, and it was very focused on uh, making sure I kind of like had all my facts straight, and that I thought about things in the right way, and that I could tell other people how to think about it, how I could argue, you know, people disagreed. Um, but whenever I came to Asbury, I found a place that was not only interested in helping me to um, have sound theology, but to shape me and to form me um, as a disciple of Jesus Christ so that I was then equipped to um, shape and form others in that same way. <clears throat> 
The hybrid program here at the Asbury has been very beneficial to me. I live about two and a half hours away from the Wilmore campus, uh, which means it's just a little bit out of reach for me to be able to drive back and forth here several times a week. Um, even to drive up here once a week would probably be impossible for me um, because I serve in full-time ministry in a church. And so um, this program has made it possible for me to continue my education and to continue to serve in that local church as well. Um, coming to campus for the intensives is like kind of like a retreat for me um, as I serve in ministry um, and, and have that wonderful experience. Being able to come here to Wilmore is a chance for me to, to take a deep breath and to be poured into. Um, it's also this great opportunity um, to build new friendships. You know, you chat with people online throughout the semester and then you come here and you get to put faces with names. Um, you get to build those connections and then you get to um, build that relationship with your professor as well. I came to Asbury because there were some professors in my undergrad that had attended Asbury, and I was really impressed with the inductive Bible study method uh, that I saw in the classes that I took with these professors at other schools. And then just because of the, the call in my life to uh, multicultural uh, ministry, uh, I wanted to be in a place, surprisingly, where I was the minority and to maybe kind of see the other side of things and have interactions that would help me to be a better pastor in the context that God has placed me. The hybrid option and, and studying in it uh, has been a benefit to me in that it's provided the means for me to really feel like I'm a part of the Asbury community. Uh, there are so many aspects of, of the Asbury community that you just can't get. Uh, with the online classes. Uh, I've, had, I've had the privilege of actually meeting my professors and my classmates and developing relationships with them. And those relationships have extended even beyond uh, my time in my professor's classes. And so it's great when I come back and maybe I've seen someone from a class that I had a year or two ago and it's an opportunity to reconnect. And there are just some things that you can't get if you're not here, but you get a taste of it and you really feel like you're an Asbury student, not someone that lives somewhere else but is uh, going to school at Asbury, uh, you do really feel like you're part of the community. And for those reasons, I've actually taken additional hybrid courses that I've not needed to uh, just because I love Wilmore and the Asbury community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are several schools that have online programs and I have uh, you know, some people that I know that went to a school and they did their whole master's degree uh, online. And, uh, you know, if you ask them, do they feel like they were a part of the school or of the community? Uh, I think they would say, I got my degree from here or from there, but I don't feel like they can say, I, I really connected with the school. And so much. I think it's important, this idea of community and, and of being connected with those that you're learning with. And, and you, just, you just can't get that if, if you're not in an, in an online setting. Uh, if, if you're in an online setting, you can't get that. Uh, I am finishing up a transformative teaching course. And I was just sharing that to see my fellow classmates teach on a video, to see them do their presentation via video with me in the St. Louis area and they wherever they're at, the dialogue that comes in the classroom setting would have been missed out. And what we, ex what we experienced in that class was when the teaching time ended, the Spirit of God just really moved. And, and so there were some who were, the lesson impacted them and they were crying. Um, there were others who were really moved to go and to put their hand on the shoulder of, of one of their classmates and just begin to pray for them. And, and there were hugs shared and there was communication that was taking place saying, man, this really impacted me in this way or that way. And, and those moments would not have happened had I been watching my classmates' video and, and then trying to type those answers and those responses. And there's something that gets lost in translation. And so there's nothing like being in the room and experiencing those, th experiencing those things live 
and being able to, to interact as a result of it. And, and those memories will be with me forever.